Baxter, do you want to talk to the folks in the video? Come here, buddy. You want to talk to the video, folks? <laughs> he gonna, you going to talk to him? Oh, he's crazy. This whole video is going to be my dogs fighting you guys. No, nah, seriously. Uh, what's up? Um, hopefully, um, you guys are happy that I'm putting out a lot of content lately. Uh, doing it live. I like doing these live videos because they're a lot of fun. And <laughs> they're... They're a lot of fun to me. I hope you guys enjoy them as much as I do. Um, so today, I, I mentioned in my video, I think when we unboxed this guy, that I'd be getting Leatherface. And holy smokes, did I get a great deal. Um, I found a guy on eBay that was selling one that had some slight damage to the handle, which I will probably do a video and show you guys how I fix that if it's not that bad. If it's really bad, I'm going to have to send it off, so we'll just have to see once we open the box. But... Um, me being cheap, <laughs> I didn't want to pay the full price for this guy, which is about $600. Um, and I got it for half of that, believe it or not. So this is number 659 of 2000. And I was able to get Leatherface for right around $300, give or take. Um, so yeah, um, the gentleman shipped him to me immediately. I'm super excited to get into the box. So I'm going to go ahead and cut everything open and see what I can come up with. Got my knife. And so you know all that. I'm gonna just cut it open. I'm gonna crop it real quick. I got my handy uh, person not to be named with me today, um, cause I don't want to get in no trouble. But I got got the best hands in the recording game. Um, and by the way, go dogs. Um, so we're gonna try to get in this box. Hopefully there's nothing really going on, and hopefully we can. Uh, have a reasonably good statue if it's small like the pictures um i did do some homework i didn't just order something you guys so if it's small like the pictures um the damage excuse me it's small like the picture show we should be okay but we're just gonna see um it came really quick too um that's what she said <laughs> so we're gonna get on it i had to throw that in there uh and i was shocked because he didn't ship it for a while, then he shipped it, and there's thank you card up top, just so you can see that. The top of this box is giving me chills. Now, I don't have a lot of Leatherface stuff yet, but I do have the 3-0 Leatherface, the old school on order. I like the remake, but I also like the original. Um, I just like watching that old movie. Um, I like it for, uh, I don't know exactly why I like it, but I like it a lot. Um, Leatherface is, iconic to me he's kind of one of those niche iconic uh horror people either you love him or you don't and i love him a lot i, I think he does just as much for horror as um freddie jason or michael in his own way so i think he is he's one of the best to do it um you know if i had to pick you know i gotta roll with jason um but uh, you know leatherface is cool man he did some cool stuff I'm um, here at the top. You see, six fifty nine or two thousand, or at the bottom of the box. Excuse me. Once we flip that guy over, look at how sick that looks. And it goes across the top, which I love the bleed over, leather face, premium format. Oh my god! Got a little bit of artwork on the side and on the back. And this guy is wow. I don't even know what to say, you guys. Let's get him out and let's see what the damage is. So. You know, people always go back and forth about should you buy a damaged statue or not. I don't know the answer. I'm just not getting into collecting statues. I've only got three, so I'm not the best person to ask. What I will say is never say you're never going to sell something. And I look at these as investments, as I'm sure most people do. And what I mean by that is, is you just never know what might happen. You know, if my kid needs something or my wife needs something, I'm selling all this stuff. You know, that's just real talk. But under normal circumstances, I'm not looking to sell any of my stuff. Um, and this guy looks to be one of my prized possessions. And the reason for me that this is going to be one of my prized possessions is because if I'm being honest with you, I don't think they make a lot of leather face stuff. I mean, Jebo, can you think of them, a lot of leather face stuff? You don't, you don't see a lot of his stuff. You see Freddy Krueger everywhere. You see zombie stuff everywhere. Um, you see Jason stuff everywhere. Um, Mexico just uh, put out this new doll that they're going to be coming out with. looks really cool. But you don't really see a lot of other uh, Leatherface stuff. 
Now I've watched this unboxing, so I know what I'm doing a bunch of times um, from different people. So right up front on the outside, you get the apron of death, as I'm gonna affectionately call it. And this tells you this is a big figure, cause look at how big this apron is. Hell, my dog Baxter, my, my French bulldog can wear this apron. And th this is a, a big one. Come here, Baxter. I don't see if he comes back. He, he left the building. Oh, here he goes. Come here, buddy. See, this is like as long as Baxter. Don't bite it. Look at that. So that's pretty long. He can wear like a cape. So this is a pretty big apron. So I'm gonna sit that over to the side. It does have a bendy wire in it, which is cool. So that means um, we can like make it look a uh, certain way, um, like it's kind of waving in the wind. Actually, get down. You can't have that. It was just for comparison. All right. So let me open this tape. This was packaged, repackaged very well. So kudos to the seller. He did a good job. Um, and he was a real cool guy. Um, he did tell me, you know, initially when I bought this. We, we had agreed on one price because it was not supposed to be damaged. Then he came back and said, hey man, it's got some damage going on. This happened uh, as I was getting ready to take it down. I apologize. And, you know, we worked it out. Um, and so, hopefully, it made it. You know, anytime you're shipping anything that's made of polystone or anything that's hard materials, it's a toss-up when you're shipping stuff. Even stuff from Sideshow, I've seen videos come damaged. Not not in the later stuff, or in the more recent stuff, but in a lot of the older stuff, you know, it is not uncommon to get something damaged that comes to you from a seller. Um, especially from a, a private seller, not a company. Um, so, we're going to see. The cool thing is, is that there's a ton of ways to fix uh, polystone or, or statues, which is awesome. So there's a lot of ways to get in here and, and make it right if it's not right. Where's this thing still taped? I guess right here. I'm trying to get in here, guys, without just popping the top. All right. All right, let's see what the damage is. All right. Hearts bumping fast time. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's pull out this part that I, I'm pretty sure is not damaged first. So, you saw this the last time with Jason. That this thing will kill somebody. This is the base, and it is massive. Um, you got the feathers from the inside of the house. If you've ever watched the first movie, there's the key to insert for the foot, I believe. Uh, cowboy boot. And there's got there's some awesome scenes. Mallet to the dome. Um hook to the back if you've ever seen the movie just a really nice 3d pop out look um the front of the house um the wheelchair auto oh, so sad it got him at night they were running around the flashlights uh leatherface got him and my favorite of all when he whacks the guy and the guy's body's like jumping on the ground like a fish out of water and he drags him and he slams that door super awesome super duper awesome so boom here's the base bottom of the base Everything matching up, 659 of 2000. Premium format, Texas Chainsaw. Awesome. All right. Uh, when the hell am I going to put this? All right. Let me rearrange some stuff really briefly. Hold on. I also got to be mindful because my dog is like a vacuum cleaner. He'll eat anything. All right. Hopefully, this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> my legs here so it'll catch it without falling this is probably not the best but we're gonna see oh, let's go ahead what do you say chainsaw handles are in there let's go ahead and pull the body out and it's nice and solid oh smokes he is solid like these cowboy boots, flexing. Leather face, he got his pants on. Got a little bit of old timey there. Um, it's looking good so far here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and plant him and we'll come back and take a better look at this once it's all together. But I just wanna get it together first to see what the damage is. He went together really good. It's a little bit of that foam on him. I can get all that off later. I'm more interested in the other stuff. This arm looks good, no damage there. 
Um, the tie is loose, but I can fix that. So I'm not particularly worried about that. Um, I can look at that and I can fix that. So I'm not worried about the tie. That's small beans. That phone scared the crap out of me. I was like, what is that? This little phone is there. It feels like a little, I don't know. It's got yeah. a weird feeling to it. Um, all right, so we got the arm, uh, the other arm out. Oh, all right, let's see what we got. This thing is massive. Now the arm is good. You can see, oh, oh, cool. So that's where the brake is. That's it. So I think that looks pretty good if that's the only thing that ends up being damaged. We're going to see here once we assemble it, but I'm going to put a little bit of that, um, I forget what, but it's an A and B mix and build that up. Then I'm going to sand it down and I'm just going to touch it up this color. So that should not be much at all if that ends up in fact being everything that's wrong. So this arm is a pain in the rears to get in. If I remember correctly from watching other people's video and it's got to go make sure I remember it's got to go a very specific way you gotta get these clothes out of the way come on baby work with me work with me Bubba um, you don't want to get that on that clothing in between that joint uh, am I in it I'm getting there come on come out of there there's uh, no dogs hurt in the taping of this video. Um, they're okay. They're just goofing with each other. My little dog likes to pick on my old dog. So, yeah. That's where you hear the growling and, and all. Um, I guess that's in. Um, I saw a lot of people struggle with that. And that's a weird joint angle. It's just, um, I, I feel a gap. So, I'm assuming maybe there's some materials in there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm looking from the inside and it looks pretty straight. So I think that's good. All right. Let's leave that for now. Let's see what else we got. <laughs> Head looks awesome. It does have real leather on it. Did not know that. That looks dope. Look at those eyes and look at those teeth. Talk about the stank breath. A little bit of fart spray in there because it's looking, looking pretty sick. But that's pretty scary. And those eyes are amazing. They got a nice gloss over them. Looks real. Um, wow. This is somebody's face he's wearing, by the way, just so you know. But holy smokes. This is pretty sick. Uh, which way is he looking? This way. So we're going to get him in. And like I told you guys, don't panic, all you um, folks like the tie, the tie. We're going to fix the tie, I promise you. Or we'll get this tie squared away um, when I do a review of this statue, um, which I do plan on doing. Um, but it looks great so far. Just use my reference. It's looking pretty good. And I just screwed up. I think I got to put this apron on before I put the gosh darn head on. And the tie is out. All right, so let's see how this works. Hold on, you guys. Give me just a second to get it together. Get myself together. Live video, baby. All right. Get him in, get that head set. We'll get the rest of this head set in a second. Get that the rest of him set in a second. Go ahead and tie him up, at least for right now. Looks okay. Get this apron tied up. And I like this mixed media on these statues. It's freaking sick. Um it's one of those to each his own kind of things, but I like it. I think it looks pretty good, you know? Um, and I think this statue looks really good. Now we need to figure out how in the world I wanna flare this. 
maybe coming up like that, bend that tie up and going backwards like that. Uh, once I fix it, it'll be pretty perfect. There are some other pieces that come with this as well that I think clip into these spots up front or in the back. So there's this one, which is keyed big little. And then there should be one for the other side, which is keyed big little the opposite direction. And it is a lot of stuff coming on with this, ain't it? Yeah. And I love this thing. Holy smokes. And that small little area that's hurt. Now I still need to put the pieces that are broken on and they're somewhere in here. He's got them labeled, which is cool. So I gotta sort all that out. So let me get that sorted real quick and we'll get it going. We got boxes going everywhere. All right, let's see. All right, this is one piece of the bar. Hey, what are y'all doing? This is one piece of the bar. This is the big bar that goes through the hand. Um, I think it's something like that. This is some BC goodie powder paper. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. I think it's just those two. And I gotta remember how in the heck this goes. So let me take a look. And I probably should read the directions for that part. Probably not though on that YOLO. This is magnetic, see how it comes together? So there should be, I guess, is it this piece here? Yup. And then this piece, where's that part at that's jacked up, Josh? Do you remember? Is it right there? So should it go? Maybe the other way around. Yep. Like that. Because the grip goes in his hand, right? Or at least it should. And this should be another spot right here. So boom, there it is. Do you like that? Leather face is up, you guys. Let me spin them around for you. I do have to fix the tie, so I'm not gonna do that on camera because I'm gonna waste your time. But there you go. Let me clean up this crap and get out of the way. Cause this is cool. What do you think, Mr. J? I love him. Think he, he worth the money? For $300, you can't beat this. And if you can find a better deal, you know what I say, buy it. People will always be like, hey, um, you know, my cousin, he found one. For nine dollars and thirty-eight cents. But well, you know what? You need to go and buy it. And good for your cousin. But this is freaking awesome. Um, you guys, I'm getting into the premium format stuff. You know who's next? Well, actually, let me know in the, in the comment section who you want me to try to pick up next. And don't give me anything crazy that I can't afford, like Thanos or something on the throne. Give me something reasonable. Um, I'm gonna give you my options personally. Um, it's gonna be between. Uh, Hellboy, the old school Hellboy is pointing the gun, and it's gonna be between the Freddy Krueger premium format that just got released. Um, I do need a big Freddy, so it's probably gonna be Freddy Krueger next. Not gonna say, I'll find out what you guys think in the comment section, we'll kinda go from there. But yeah, I do need a Freddy, so we'll just have to wait and see. So yeah, it's been nice. I think he matches up good, he's the biggest premium format I have now because of this statue and now that I've put everything away and got a little bit of time let me slide him over hopefully nothing falls off so we can get him in the center under the light um some things I'm noticing is the vein work in the arm the elbow work the mask the hair looks great um I love the bendable apron the cowboy boots are awesome I love the feathers on the base I love the diorama scene of the base I like these add-on pieces. I like how they mix the media with bone and real string. Um, the tie looks good, minus I need to fix it. Keep saying that. Um, 
The blood splatter on here could have probably been a little better on the apron, a little bit more random. I think it's too centered, too focused, but otherwise I think it looks good. I love the runoff there. Um, the chainsaw sick, specifically the blades. Um, it does have some nasty on it. I feel like that could have been more. I would have even liked to have seen a few chunks on here. Well, he didn't dug into somebody, but you know, gotta be PG a little bit. But overall, this thing is freaking sick. Beautiful piece. I'm so blessed, you guys. I keep saying that I'm blessed. Such a good night. I'm so blessed to keep getting this stuff. You know, my wife, she's awesome for allowing me to do it. She's still married to me, so I guess she's okay. Um, but this stuff is sick. And now I can't decide anymore which one's my favorite <laughs> out of my Jasons. Because this leather face, I mean, standing back and looking at everything, that's freaking awesome. I still like my, my old school Jason because it looks menacing. But man, it's close because this freaking leather face is awesome. Um, just to give you an idea of how tall he is, um, do I have anything out right now? Probably not. Uh, let me pull out a seven inch figure. The the guy everybody loves to hate, Stevie from Django. Cause this is about right. This is Stevie. And let me stand him straight up. This is Stevie compared to Leatherface. So that's a seven inch figure compared to what you got here. So yeah, that's huge. Here's my hand, it's huge. I wear a large glove, so that's a huge figure. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, the next video will not be figure related. It will be PlayStation controller related. So definitely stick around for that. It's coming, I'm gonna be telling you why I switched back to the PlayStation 4 controller. You don't wanna miss that. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share these videos, help me out. Let's get to 30,000 uh, subscribers. I've been on YouTube half my life. And still ain't hit 30,000 subscribers. It's because I keep quitting. So you know what? Let's get there. Let's get to 30. Then let's see what we can do from that. Take care, you guys. It's Friday night. Have an amazing weekend. And I will see you soon. Bye.